uh, tag. It's looking to see, do I have my fan turned on, not turned on, and then it's it's creating a temperature simulation. I'll show you that oh, can you show us the switching between the languages? Yeah. So I actually can take this code that I already wrote, and all I can do is just grab this drop down, grab C sharp, and it converts it to C sharp, C sharp. And then I can also go the other way back. And you can edit and then go back. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that's 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 crazy. Um, which one do so you prefer? Quick. Okay, so for things like this, uh, quick expressions, uh, I'm gonna say VB.net. So like, let's say I'm just gonna do a couple of if statements and write to some tags. I I would prefer the VB.net, but I would say for more complex code, I'm probably gonna use C Sharp, just because I I C Sharp's more flexible for me. But I'll show you a couple of cool things about this. So you see this, uh, we can access any of the namespaces from inside here using IntelliSense. So if I just say at, it gives me all of the available namespaces, all of the available namespaces right here. So, I, I, so I'm gonna select tag and then I'm gonna click tag dot and then it gives me a list of every single tag I have. These are the actual tag objects. So this isn't just the path to the tag, this is the literal object. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Boolean tag, and then I'm going to hit dot again, and now it's going to give me all the attributes, all the methods that are underneath that tag. And I can use that within my code. That is and, really nice. And I can do that in any of the namespaces. So any of the namespaces that are running in the background, they, they've essentially exposed at least 90% of what's under the hood. And what's really crazy, uh, when you create a new object, basically everything in here is an object, it shows up in, in the IntelliSense. So even the objects you create can be picked up and navigated through using IntelliSense. It's really, really cool, man. I mean, 